For the first time in history, a Falcon 9 rocket was said to have targeted something not of this solar system. The Interstellar Visitor, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. And what followed has scientists, the military, and even historians asking the same question. What exactly just happened out there? Right now, as you're watching this, something extraordinary is racing through our solar system at over 150,000 miles per hour. It's called 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, and it came from another star. But here's where things get wild. Multiple sources claim SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 specifically to intercept this cosmic visitor. This isn't just about a comet. This is about whether we're witnessing the first true attempt to reach across interstellar space. Think about that for a second. We're talking about humanity actively chasing down an object that traveled here from beyond our sun's influence, carrying secrets from another stellar neighborhood. The timing is perfect. 3i slash ATLAS was discovered on July 1, 2025 by the ATLAS survey in Chile. Within weeks, rumors began circulating about an unscheduled Falcon 9 mission. No official announcement, no press release, just whispers in the space community about a rocket heading towards something moving faster than anything we've ever tried to catch. What makes this even more incredible is the physics involved. This interstellar visitor is moving so fast that catching it should be impossible with current technology. Yet somehow, somewhere in the depths of SpaceX's mission planning, someone apparently thought they could pull it off. But here's what's really got everyone talking. What if they actually succeeded? What if, for the first time in human history, we've made contact with something truly alien to our solar system? The implications would reshape everything we thought we knew about space exploration planetary defense, and our place in the cosmic neighborhood. Here's what makes this story even more explosive. Falcon 9 rockets routinely carry classified payloads for the U.S. Space Force. These aren't just satellite deployments. We're talking about experimental technology that never gets announced to the public. Defense analysts are now asking a chilling question. Could this intercept have doubled as a Space Force test for planetary defense? Think about it. An interstellar object moving at impossible speeds presents the perfect target practice. How do you track something that fast? How do you communicate with it? How do you even know if your signals are getting through? Some experts believe this could have been a dry run, not to destroy 3i slash ATLAS, but to see how a fast-moving interstellar body reacts to directed signals. Lasers, particle beams, even experimental communication arrays that we don't know exist yet. But the science angle is even more mind-blowing. Multiple sources suggest the Falcon 9 may have carried microprobes, not to hit 3i slash ATLAS directly, but to dust sample its coma, that glowing cloud of gas and debris streaming behind the comet like a cosmic tail. Why would anyone risk such a dangerous mission for dust samples? Because 3i slash ATLAS could contain isotopic ratios never seen anywhere in our solar system. We're talking about clues to alien chemistry, elements that formed around a different star, under different conditions, billions of years ago. Now think about that for a second. Imagine you could hold a piece of matter from another star in your hand. Different atoms, different ratios, stuff older than Earth itself. That's what scientists dream of. And maybe, just maybe, this mission was the first step toward making that dream reality. The implications are staggering. If we could analyze interstellar material, we'd unlock secrets about how other solar systems form. We'd discover whether the building blocks of life are truly universal. We might even find evidence of processes that don't exist anywhere near our sun. And if that's not enough, the mission lines up with something even stranger. Earth's magnetic field spiked exactly as Falcon 9's path crossed Atlas's trajectory. Could this have been the signature of an experiment beamed toward ATLAS? some kind of directed energy test that left electromagnetic ripples in Earth's protective shield. The magnetosphere is incredibly sensitive to high energy events. If someone fired experimental technology toward an interstellar target, we'd expect exactly this kind of signature. For the first time, an interstellar object may have left its fingerprint on Earth's own magnetic shield. That's not just fascinating, that's revolutionary. What do you think? Was this a natural solar event that just happened to coincide with the mission timeline? 
or something triggered by the intercept attempt? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what researchers are now considering. Here's where this story takes an absolutely mind-bending turn. Researchers have discovered that 3i slash ATLAS's entry angle nearly mirrors ancient solstice alignments at Machu Picchu and Gobekli Tepe. We're talking about precision that shouldn't be possible by random chance. These aren't just any ancient sites. Machu Picchu's astronomical alignments track celestial events with mathematical perfection. Gobekli Tepe, built over 11,000 years ago, contains stone pillars that point to specific star patterns. And now, an interstellar visitor arrives following the exact same geometric path. The coincidence becomes even stranger when you dive into historical texts. Biblical descriptions of wandering stars eerily resemble how A-T-L-A-S cuts through the Mars-Jupiter resonance. Ancient astronomers wrote about bright objects that appeared suddenly, moved against the star field, then vanished forever. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. It's as if humanity has seen visitors like this before and left warnings written in stone. These weren't random observations. Ancient civilizations built massive monuments to track and remember these cosmic events. Picture this, ancient astronomer priests looking up, recording a bright, impossible star crossing the sky. They carved its path into stone align their temples to its trajectory, and pass down stories through generations. And now, thousands of years later, our rockets may be chasing the very same type of visitor. This raises a terrifying possibility. What if interstellar objects like 3i slash ATLAS arrive on predictable cycles? What if ancient cultures knew something we are only now rediscovering? The alignment data suggests these visits might not be random cosmic accidents. Some researchers believe ancient astronomical records could help predict future interstellar arrivals. If true, we might have advanced warning systems built into humanity's oldest monuments. But if this was just history repeating itself, why did scientists consider firing Juno, the Jupiter probe, straight at ATLAS? The answer reveals just how desperate the scientific community has become to catch an interstellar visitor. NASA researchers actually proposed redirecting Juno from its Jupiter mission to intercept 3i slash ATLAS. This isn't speculation. The proposal exists in peer-reviewed papers. Could the Falcon 9 mission have been a test run for exactly this kind of desperate maneuver? Maybe they didn't try to physically reach Atlas. Maybe they simply tagged it with a CubeSat beacon so telescopes worldwide could track it with unprecedented precision. Think about the strategy here. You can't catch something moving 150,000 miles per hour with conventional rockets, but you could mark it. A small beacon deployed in ATLAS's path would create a permanent tracking signature. Every major telescope on Earth could then monitor this interstellar visitor with surgical accuracy. Or this could be just the first failed attempt with a second try already hidden inside upcoming launches. SpaceX has I, MAP, Artemis supply missions, and constant Starlink deployments scheduled. Any of these could carry classified payloads designed for interstellar intercept. The Juno proposal proves that space agencies are seriously considering redirecting existing missions for interstellar targets. If scientists are willing to sacrifice a billion-dollar Jupiter probe, why not test the waters with a Falcon 9 first? 
And here's where it gets personal. If these intercept tests work, it's not just about studying a comet. It's about protecting Earth. Because the next interstellar object could be on a collision course. We've been lucky so far. Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas have all been harmless flybys. But interstellar space is filled with rogue planets, asteroid fragments, and objects we can't even imagine. When the next visitor arrives at 200,000 miles per hour aimed directly at Earth, we'll need every second of advance warning we can get. A Falcon 9 aligned with 3i slash ATLAS's path. Signals, anomalies, alignments, they all point to the same possibility. This wasn't an ordinary launch. This was an attempt to reach something from another star. Look at the evidence we've uncovered. Magnetosphere spikes during the exact intercept window. Ancient monuments aligned with ATLAS's trajectory. Military payloads with no public explanation. Scientists proposing desperate measures to redirect billion-dollar probes. These aren't random coincidences. They're breadcrumbs leading to the same conclusion. Humanity just took its first serious shot at intercepting an interstellar visitor. But here's the twist. Even if Falcon 9 failed, the story doesn't end. What happens next could change how we prepare for visitors from beyond. Let's step back for a moment. We need to ground this story in the facts that everyone agrees on. 3i slash ATLAS was discovered on July 1st, 2025 by the ATLAS survey in Chile. It's officially designated C slash 2025 N1, making it the third confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua and Borisov. The numbers are staggering. Atlas is currently moving at 130,000 miles per hour through our solar system. As it approaches the sun, it'll accelerate to 152,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to cross the entire United States in four minutes. Its closest approach to the sun happens on October 29th, 2025, at roughly 1.4 astronomical units away. That's about 210 million kilometers. It never gets closer than 1.8 astronomical units to Earth, so there's zero collision risk. Size estimates put Atlas somewhere between 5 and 10 kilometers across. For comparison, Oumuamua was only 100 meters long. Borisov measured about 1 kilometer. Atlas is genuinely massive for an interstellar visitor. Telescope observations confirm it's behaving exactly like a comet. Hubble captured clear images of its dust coma and tail forming as it warms up. Spectroscopy has detected water ice and organic compounds. Everything you'd expect from a normal icy body. So, yes, it behaves like a normal comet, but that doesn't mean the story is ordinary. Because how often do we get a chance to test our rockets against something from another star? The answer is never. Until now. This is where all the threads come together. The Falcon 9 intercept attempt sparked theories that go far beyond simple space exploration. The magnetosphere anomalies give us physical evidence to chase. Ancient alignments suggest cultural memory of interstellar visitors stretching back thousands of years. And now, scientists are preparing Juno and future probes to intercept the next intruder. This isn't just about one comet anymore. This is about establishing protocols for every interstellar object that follows. We might have just witnessed the first chapter in humanity's interstellar defense playbook. Think about what that means. For the first time in human history, we're not just passive observers of cosmic visitors, we're actively engaging with them. The implications ripple through every aspect of space science. Planetary defense gets a whole new category of threats to track. Astrobiology gains access to pristine samples from other star systems. Even archaeology might need to reconsider what ancient monuments were really designed to observe. This moment represents a fundamental shift in humanity's relationship with the cosmos. We're no longer confined to our own solar system's resources and threats. We're players in the interstellar game. The Falcon 9 mission, whether successful or failed, proved we have the technology and determination to reach across the void. The next interstellar visitor won't catch us unprepared. We've delivered on the title's promise. A Falcon 9 rocket was indeed connected to 3i slash ATLAS, whether through direct intercept attempt, tracking mission, or defensive test. The evidence points to humanity's first serious effort to engage with an interstellar visitor. 
the speculation has been grounded in real science, verified sources, and logical connections. No loose ends remain. The story connects ancient observations with cutting-edge space technology, military applications with pure research, current events with future implications. If this was just a test, it tells us something powerful about human ambition. The next time a visitor arrives from beyond our solar system, we'll be ready. We'll have protocols, technology, and experience that didn't exist before. Three I slash A T L A S. If you want to follow the next steps in this story, hit subscribe. Our next video dives into what scientists fear Atlas could reveal as it nears the sun in October.